All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today, I'm gonna be giving you guys all the information you need to get yourself fully prepared for the upcoming AGL Super 17, Extreme Z Awakening, which is gonna be dropping on the global side of the game in about four days from the time this video comes out. Now, he is officially gonna be the first OG 120% lead to get his EZA on global, which is pretty freaking awesome. Of course, JP already has a few of them the Super 17, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, as well as most recently, the Int Kid Buu. But honestly, I'm really happy that they decided to give us this guy first, because he was probably the one that I was looking forward to the most out of the three so far, since usually when it comes to units that I consider to be good, I'm looking for a balance between offense and defense, as well as a little bit of support for the rotation if possible. And this guy is just amazing in all of those areas, which we'll find out in just a second. Now before we get into his details, let's pop over to the Extreme Z Battle event and see what that looks like. Starting with the release date on JP, it was August 4th, 2020 for Global. It's going to be October 29th, 2020, which once again is in roughly four days from now. The weakness for this event is the Dragon Ball Seekers category, which is led by, or the main leader, is the LRGT Trio. Now the sad part is that I actually have this unit. I bought them with coins the last time that we got a Legendary Summon Banner and I still have not been able to awaken them because they need an exclusive medal from one of the GT story events and this medal is only available in the Baba Shop when the event is actually live and it hasn't been live for a very long time. So yeah, I can't use them. Really sad. I'm sure people out there who have this unit or have the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku in their box, unawakened, can feel my pain. But anyways, this is uh, what the category looks like. It consists of, as you can see, characters who wanted to find and collect the Dragon Balls. And uh, even if you don't have the LRGC Trio, you can totally build a youth category team with uh, most of these units included or even a monotype team. Um, obviously, the most effective team against Super 17 or the most, expect most effective type would be Super Tech. So if you want to run a mono Super Tech team with some solid units, you should also be good to go. Okay, so there's the category. And uh, oh, by the way, by the way, uh, this LR Demon King Piccolo right here is the new World Tournament reward for the upcoming World Tournament on Global. So we're also going to be getting him extremely stoked for that okay so that's the category going back to the event now uh weakness is dragon ball seekers and as far as the stages go it's pretty standard stuff for your extreme z battles uh, you're going to be fighting super 17 as you go through getting his medals getting some agl orbs and also getting one stone for every stage that's cleared after level three he gets additional damage reduction of 60 percent against extreme agl and extreme int and then you go along, getting more medals, orbs, some uh, Grand Kai's, and beyond level 9, characters that are SSR, rarity, or lower can only cause less than 2 million damage. Uh, you guys probably know that this was implemented after people started bringing the uh, Devilman unit into Extreme Z Battles to try and nuke the, the stages, and Bandai was like, nah. We don't want you to do that, we want you to actually summon for the new units. So they implemented this so that Devilman can no longer nuke the events. And uh, after level 12, he gets additional damage reduction of 70% against Extreme AGL, Extreme Tech, Extreme Int, and Extreme Fizz. Okay, so at this point, these types are not going to be doing much damage at all. So, I mean, basically just don't bring Extreme type units because they're really not that effective here. And uh, getting more medals, silver medals now, some orbs, some Kai's, stones of course. And then beyond the level 19, he gets additional damage reduction of 80% against all SDR types, super and extreme, as well as all extreme types. So at this point, um, obviously I always recommend to just go with as many super tech as possible. But uh, if you want to bring like... You know, some like Super Fizz or Super Int, it will be okay. It's just going to be neutral damage, but the best you know, setup would be a team with as many Super Tech units as you possibly can bring. 
and uh, you know, from there, once you go to level 30, you'll have all the medals, uh, a bunch of orbs, some Grand Kai's, and uh, basically enough medals to fully extreme Z Awaken your Super 17. So as far as a reward roundup here, you're getting all the EZA medals to Extreme Z Awaken Super 17 after you finish the first 30 stages, on top of enough AGL orbs to fully, um, fully fill out the potential grid for an AGL unit, and 11 AGL Grand Kai's and 30 Dragonstones, one for each stage. And we also have a few missions here for four more Dragonstones. The first one is win the Extreme Z battle with one minute and 25 seconds at level 10 or higher, or within one minute and 25 seconds. And the second one is win Extreme Z battle within one minute and 40 seconds at level 20 or higher. And the last one is win the Extreme Z battle at level 20 or higher with a the character from Dragon Ball Seekers category on your team, just one character will be fine. So that's four stones in total, so a grand total of 34 stones for this new Extreme Z battle event. And uh, once again, here is the Dragon Ball Seekers category. As you can see, many of them are in the youth category, so you can potentially bring a team of youth units or just go for super tech, like I said. And uh, that is pretty much it. That's pretty much all you gotta know about the Extreme Z battle event. Now let's, pop, uh, let's go back to the unit himself and go over his uh, EZA details. So a little comparison here, uh, old leader skill for the unawakened form or the unextreme Z awakened form is extreme AGL types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120% and super AGL key plus 1, HP attack and defense plus 50%. New leader skill after EZA is extreme AGL types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130% and Super AGL, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. So for this main leader skill here for Extreme AGL, um, it's a 10% increase in stats. I was really hoping, like before we learned about what the 120% EZAs would look like, I was really hoping that they would make it 150% and kind of revive the mono meta a little bit. I mean, 130 is not bad, but 150 would have been so much better, but it is 130, it is what it is. And uh, for Super AGL types, it's key plus 3 and 90% versus key plus 1 and 50%, so obviously a much bigger boost there. Now the old Super Attack causes immense damage and it greatly lowers defense. The new Super Attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. And this is actually pretty significant. It's 50%, right, for one turn, which is really good and passive uh old passive okay old passive is but did i say greatly raises defense here i forgot basically okay before it was greatly lowers defense not greatly raises defense but with the eza he greatly raises attack and defense and greatly lowers enemy's defense okay now for the, his old passive it was damage received minus 40 percent attack plus 30 percent with each attack received up to 120 percent okay now, his passive is damage received minus 40%, key plus 1 up to 3, attack plus 30% up to 150%, and damage received minus 6% up to 30% with each attack received. And then target Goku category allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 17%. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier, about how he is amazing on offense, amazing on defense, and also a very solid support unit. Okay, so uh, damage received minus 40%, same as before, but he does have better stats. So that's gonna go even further than it did before. And then he's getting key plus one, so some key this time, as opposed to no key before, and 30% attack for each attack received, but it goes up to 150% now versus 120%, and he's also getting even more damage reduction on top of the 40% with each attack received up to 30%. So once he's fully stacked up, he's getting 70% damage reduction, which is a ton. That's a lot of damage reduction. And then 150% attack is gonna help him hit really hard. And uh, the extra key will also help him launch his super attacks. Um, I don't think he really struggled too much with key before, but it's always nice to have a guaranteed super, basically, right? And uh, target Goku category allies, Chance of performing a critical hit plus 17%. That is a lot. That is equivalent to basically a level eight and a half 
crit in the hidden potential system because because uh, basically each level is two percent or you basically multiply by two right so this would be equivalent to giving everyone on the rotation an additional 8.5 levels of critical hit chance in their hidden potential system which uh is is pretty significant it's pretty huge obviously he's benefiting from it too so he's gonna be critting quite a bit and uh yeah i just love this unit man he he's he's awesome he, he has everything that I consider, um, you know, a, a good unit should have, right? Great offense, great defense, also some support. I mean, it would have been even better if he was like a key plus three, attack and defense plus 40% or whatever, but that's unrealistic as far as like support for this guy goes. So um, I like that it's a little bit unique. I like that it's crit chance. Uh, I just love this unit, man. I love that he's yay. I'm super excited for it. I don't know if it's obvious. But I really am. Okay. Uh, the last thing we got to look at is the stats. Okay. So before EZA, he had 16,225 HP, 15,500 attack, and 10,588 defense at rainbow status, like fully uh, tooped out, right? But now with the EZA, he has 20,854 HP, 19,075 attack, and 12,200 and 62 defense those are some crazy stats man um so about 2,000 more defense about 4,000 3,500 more attack and about 4,000 more hp uh so all these boosts on his passive are gonna go way further than they did before right because um with the higher defense he's gonna get even he's gonna take even less damage with this amount of damage reduction He's going to do more damage with the attack boost because he has a higher attack stat. And um, yeah, he's just awesome. I mean, I, I can't say enough about how great this EZA is. This is how all EZAs should be. And uh, even though they've dropped the ball, you know, a couple times in the past, I think that recently they've been on the right trend, on the right track with new EZAs. And they've all been really good. So uh yeah that is the video guys that is the super 17 preview slash info video to get you guys prepared for his eventual eza in about four days uh for anybody that has him uh enjoy because he is fantastic and uh, i will be streaming my extreme z uh battle stream no extreme z battle runs when the event comes out so look forward to that Obviously, if you guys want to be informed of when that's happening, then make sure to hit that little notification bell beside the subscribe button. With that said, also, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, then make sure to smash that subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and uh, stay tuned for more great Dokkan content. But that's it, guys. That's all from me. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.